an interesting little stone cenotaph boundary marker with C for Cambridge. 1829 to indicate its longevity and the W to let us know we are indeed standing on the side of Watertown. And Cottage Street is our little Watertown connector road to the rail trail. And here I am back in Watertown at the rail trail. Now let's see what it looks like in the Watertown section. I'll follow it all the way down to the arsenal. <clears throat> and supposedly a significant part of it has been dedicated as the Watertown Greenway. So we'll cross that thing when we come to it. There's some more old moldering switch stuff. Must have been a siding here sometime. Wow, it's really kind of clobbered around here. Somewhere along this stretch was its, the location of its last client, Newlyweds something. Maybe that's this thing with the giant tank row. You can kind of, the yellow seen dimly through the brush. This must have been the actual line. That must have been the site. So maybe it delivered stuff to that thing. Now yeah, it looks like it could handle a tank car or two. Here it's heavily overgrown. And there's some kind of parking garage. And so forth. So here we are. And it's a Watertown Urban Wild. There goes another Eastern Cottontail. They seem to be avid fans of all this. Hi, Cottontail. No, heading that way. Taking refuge in a briar patch as if on cue. Let's see, old pile of rotting. Eyes. Huh. This looks like it might be a potential wino shelter. I'd have to say it would be a fairly imaginative one. Uh -oh, we're in something of a low light situation. So this part would definitely be a value <coughs> as a bikeway. It's perfect. Keeps bicyclists, pedestrians away from the menacing hubbub of the motorist world.
fairly passable. At least till here. What do we got here? Oh, this is another place where slob contractors are dumping their junk. This is, oh, this has got to be snow. You dump sand loaded snow here in the winter. And then when it melts, there's tons of sand. There's another rail mark here. Here, the brush thins again. Doesn't seem to be much in the way of vernacular passage. It must be a time when people are streaming into their jobs. The sloppy loose dirt here. And a row of wild mustard. Underpass. That'll probably get us back to where it's walkable. You can see more great old artisan stonework through the trees. Makeshift wine house shelter. And what do we got here? <laughs> nice. Okay. Looks like the thing gets quasi buried for a bit back in some other building. Might be under this dirt. Well, let's see if it reappears. And yes, it does. And I bet you we're nearing the spot where it becomes the Watertown Greenway. There's more dumped snow, highway sand, midden stuff. Yeah, it's pretty interesting figuring out where they park this crap. So yeah, here we are. The tracks would be running over here. And you can discern them. Another great little course for fat tire activity. And more 
cocktails. Engaged in evasive maneuvers. back on the track thing. More old stone cribbing. So a significant segment of it along here has become a vernacular path to an extent, albeit in need of a little trimming. What do you want to bet that the trailhead for the Watertown Greenway begins around here? It sure is looking like point where community interest rises. Oh yes, one can see the little stone cenotaph. At least when there isn't traffic in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> 